Good afternoon everyone and welcome to our small footprint. My name is Nissa, and if you're new here we are a family of eight who live off-grid in Australia. Now I normally would have a video out in the morning but I didn't get one done this morning so it's vlogmas so I'm trying to get daily videos out but instead of a morning video it's an afternoon video or an evening video or I'll release it tomorrow morning when I get to it. Uh, so uh, today's video, what are we doing today? Oh, we did sweet treat, we did another, some more baking, so I thought I'd share it. Now, this is an experimental baking thing for us, so it's it's going to need some uh, adaptations the next couple of times we do it, but I wanted to share the process as we went along. Uh, Sonnet helped me today with the baking, and so what we were doing, we, we were doing dairy-free uh, ginger nut, so like gingerbread, Christmas-ish flavored uh, ice cream sandwiches. So we did that and I'm going to bring you along for the process of it and discuss the what we're going to do differently next time and things like that. Uh, and Sonnet had fun helping me and that's the main thing and everyone's eating it regardless of what did and didn't go right with it. So come along and see what we got done today and hopefully I will see you again tomorrow but there might be a day or two that we miss along in December just depending on other workloads that need to get done. So I had some caramel sauce left in the fridge from when I made the salted caramel ice cream last time that I wanted to use and rather than just like pour on something I decided I should just make some more ice cream. So what I did was I made another caramel ice cream. I didn't add any salt to this one and I, you, I bumped the ingredients a little bit because I wanted to use two whole tins of coconut cream because I didn't want any wastage or any put aside. Last time some of the tin got used in the sauce and then the rest got used in the uh in the ice cream but this time i wasn't making a sauce so i wanted to just use two whole tins into the ice cream so i adjusted the uh ratios of things a little bit bumped up an extra couple of egg yolks for it i left the sugar the same though because it was plenty sweet enough last time but used two tins of the coconut cream to make sure that it was uh using both tins efficiently it just felt like a a good way to make it so that the quantities used were going to be a an even quantity with whatever flavoring otherwise that I try this one you know this one's caramel so it's got caramel sauce in it which is why I used less last time but if I'm not making a caramel sauce first then I want to be able to make a flavor that uses two whole tins just to make it nice and even so we're, I'm working on that ratio and the different flavors to use that two tins for that so I used the um Yes, I bumped the egg yolks as well for that. I'm really looking forward to trying some more flavors, like uh, the different flavors of the ice cream itself. Uh, but we are going through the coconut cream rather quickly this shopping trip because I couldn't, I could only get half a tray full, I think, at the last shopping trip, and we had some left at home, so that was fine. But then I've been doing a lot of extra baking, all this ice cream and things like that. So we've been going through it a little bit quicker. So uh, I get, need to slow down a little bit until I go shopping, which is next week. And then when I go shopping, I might need to hit up a couple of different Aldi's to get enough coconut cream to take us through the rest of the holiday period. So we'll have to see how we go with that one. So I bought these freezer pastry containers. So they're a decor branded container that you can use in the freezer with puff pastry in it. And they were half price. So I bought a couple of them to put pastry in, in the freezer. Uh, but I don't have any pastry at the moment because I forgot to buy it last shopping trip and I just used the last two sheets. So they've been sitting empty. And I thought that they would be a really good thing to use for the ice cream to put it nice and thin and it would freeze nice and quickly. So I lined it with some baking paper first so that it would make it easier to pop the ice cream out of the container and then poured it in there uh, so that it would uh, freeze up. I would probably split the amount of ice cream between the two different containers next time because it was still a little thick and still took quite a while to freeze for the purpose that I wanted it. So I'd probably use both containers and split it half half between the two containers for next time. And the shape of these containers is really good. They fit in the freezer really easily, which is really nice. So while that was in the freezer setting, we were we decided to make the biscuits to go with the ice cream. So I made ginger nut, gingerbread type biscuits. Now I've made a variety of this sort of thing over the years, but it's something that I make a lot at Christmas time. So when there's 12 months between, my recipes get a little bit skewed. So I'm working on this recipe again to bring it all together. And it's, um, it, 
I melted all the wet ingredients. I used coconut oil and some egg and sugar and all that sort of stuff and melted that and then mixed it through with the dry. But they baked a little high uh, for what I wanted to use them for and they were a bit large. So I think what I'll end up doing is I will uh, chill them in a like a in a log and then slice them off maybe and ha then have the rounds that are nice and flat and sliced uh, so that the height of the biscuit is less because if we're going to put ice cream in between it and you're going to have two of them you want them to be a fairly thin sort of a biscuit and fairly uniform in shape as well so they ended up a little bit cakey for my for what I wanted but I'm looking forward to experimenting with flavors because like if I did like a chocolate biscuit with like a, a mint ice cream or you know like uh, a, a chocolate biscuit with like a cookies and cream ice cream or something like that that would be really nice so I'm going to experiment with the different flavors of these biscuits and then the different flavors of the ice cream that can go in the middle of them as well so I'm going to make this quite a few times and figure out how the recipe needs to work to make it suitable for this for the you know sweet treats nice and cool when it's hot for the kids to have but just you know something else to work on which is always fun i also got a gift box gifted to me uh, from naturally sweet which is a whole bunch of sugar free sugars like um some that are monk fruit based some that are stevia based and all that sort of thing that i'm going to attempt to use in a whole bunch of different recipes over the next couple of weeks and then that can reduce our sugar a little bit too in some of these sweet treats that we have in abundance over this time of the year so anyway we mixed all the wet ingredients in the thermomix and then i let it pour it into a bowl to mix it i probably could have poured the dry into the thermomix and just let the thermomix knead it up but she wanted to mix it so that was fine we poured the wet into the dry and let her mix it up with a wooden spoon uh, she was supposed to help me do the balls and everything but Karvik came and requested her help with some sort of crafting that he was doing so he was a little his uh, request was a little bit more important than mine apparently so she abandoned me <laughs> uh, after helping to mix it all up so what I did was I rolled them into balls and dipped them in a little bit of sugar and then put them on the tray I flattened them out a little bit but because they're coconut oil I kind of expected them to flat to spread out a little bit more and they didn't so I probably wouldn't didn't flatten them enough for as I said for this purpose and I'll probably assess how I do them next time the flavor was really nice uh, but they didn't soften up in the freezer very well because they were a bit too thick and things like that so I'm still working on this one but I rolled them into balls rolled them in a little bit of sugar just to give them that crackle effect when they cooked and then put them on the baking trays and let them go so they as the, the biscuits were the biscuits were lovely just didn't quite fit the the purpose that i had for them so uh if i was going to cook them as biscuits i'd probably cook them a lot smaller than this um and to make them as the ice cream biscuits i want them flatter and rounder sort of uh, you'll see because I'm sure to make it again I will keep on updating you as I go and once I get the recipe right I will share the recipe as well so once the ice cream was frozen uh, which was the next day actually because um, as I said it was a bit thick so I needed to cut the circles out of it now I have these really handy dandy cookie cutters that have the handles on them a whole range of them in different size circles and some that are scalloped edges some that are straight edges and do you think i could find a single one this morning no nobody knew where any of them were so i ended up using a lid from one of my fowler's jars which worked okay they're quite sharp but the ice cream is quite hard which is why the cookie cutter with the handle would have been better i didn't want the ice cream to melt too much because i didn't want it making a mess and you know it was all a little bit so anyway i used the lid and then i used a knife to cut around it nice and perfectly safe of course as you can see but i wanted to get it done and then was putting it inside the biscuits and I just wanted to do a eight of them so that everyone could try one but as I'm going along the biscuits are so thick and then the ice cream was a little bit thicker than I expected and it wasn't quite looking how I wanted so what I did was I ended up slicing the discs of ice cream in half so that they were th half the thickness which is why I think I want to put the ice cream in the two different containers because that half thickness was a lot better but the biscuits themselves are a little too thick too it's just too big a treat like 
when we're talking if you've been here before you I like to portion control and this portion sizing is just a bit too big for me so I want only one of those biscuits worth of biscuit in half each and that thinner disc of ice cream and then that way it's a more regular treat that can be eaten without me worrying about that portion sizing so I end up slicing the ice cream in half as well and putting it in and then I stuck them in the freezer so the idea is that you know it's got moisture it's going in the freezer the biscuits get nice and soft but the biscuits were too thick so when we tried to eat them the biscuits were quite crispy so perhaps I need to cook them a little less too uh, so I don't know it was it's a first I probably could have looked up a recipe for like you know sandwich cookies to use for ice cream but I didn't think about that I decided to just use a recipe that I already had for making these gingerbread-esque type snowball type cookies you know the crinkle cookies that I had already it was in my notebook <laughs> so a shortcut that didn't really work for this particular instance so as with everything it doesn't matter that it didn't quite work uh, and everyone enjoyed it and hey I could have held off on sharing this until I do it another couple of times and it works but part and parcel of the channel is showing you the process of getting it there as well the the ones that aren't quite right and the ones that are so it was all very edible very tasty Sonnet enjoyed doing it everyone's eaten them so far we've got plenty of ice cream left over to eat with whatever Karvik wants to make some brownies so we might make some brownies and then we can just cut little squares of the ice cream out of that tray and put the ice cream on top of warm brownies or something like that so it will all get eaten and used and yes uh, it's it was just a Christmas crafting sort of a day that involved food so I thought I'd share it with you so if I'm going to be sharing daily then you will get some of these bits and pieces because that's what we do in the day and if I have to share something every day then you get whatever we do so there you go I will see you again tomorrow or the next day I'll see how I go it depends I've got a whole lot of work to get done so I'm a bit tied up and it was 38 degrees out here today and it's supposed to be warmer tomorrow so in the middle of the day it is next to impossible to do anything the kitchen is far too hot the flies are everywhere and then inside is just sweltering as well so it's just unpleasant so I will try and see you tomorrow but if not I will see you the next day and uh, that's how it'll be. So thanks guys for watching and see you later.